Okay, she glow. Okay. I put too much on. <laughs> Get this on my face right now. Get it on my face. When you leave me like that. Girl, don't do me like that. Ooh. When I think about that. I'll be coming right back. Okay, so she in makeup or she glam has come up with a new foundation. It's the She Glam Skin Fluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. It is meant to be a dupe for the Kat Von D um foundation balm i can't remember the name of that one forgive me it's meant to be like the new best thing so today we're gonna be trying it out because you guys know i love trying out new makeup that is what this channel is about because we love makeup <laughs> okay i am so excited because the last time i tried out she in makeup i was pleasantly surprised so i am excited to try out this product i hope i got the right shade i picked up two shades hopefully one of them matches me fingers crossed i did pick up some other sheen products as well i got primers setting powders setting sprays all the stuff that i kind of missed in the last video i got in this video so without further ado if you guys are interested in how these products are gonna work on my skin tone, let's just straight into this video, okay? Okay, so starting off cousin, I got the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. This is the Pigment Perfector Primer. And I bought the same one. This is the Birthday Skin Primer again, but this is the smoothing rose one. I'm kind of torn in which one I actually use today because this one is for pores. It's meant to like smooth out your imperfection. It's meant to brighten it as well. It's meant to like even out your complexion. I don't know how gonna do that but that's the claim on this one whilst this one is claiming to brighten and even at your complexion again it's meant to soften your skin appearance it's meant to cover up your dark spots the hyperpigmentation it's meant to give you a smooth canvas as well and it's also meant to give you a seamless finish so it's either brighten it even at my complexion or a smooth poreless flawless finish mm, what should we go for then i'm gonna go for the smooth and rose one just because i like my pores to look smart okay oh hello packaging don't know how she in does like amazing packages and their product is still so cheap but this is glass cousin it feels like the elf potty primer but like softer i think i use a bit too much oh no i'm gonna massage i put too much on <laughs> for some reason i thought this would be like a gel form but it isn't it's like giving elf putty primer type of vibe and it's gonna give me a white cost isn't it it is honestly speaking i'm not too nervous right now because even my elf putty primer does give me a white cast as well so, so it's not really doing anything out of the ordinary texture wise it feels like the elf putty primer but more smoother as a Chris, i just want to see what this one looks like the brighton one <gasps> oh god oh crap this one is more of a moisturizer so this one comes out a lot more liquidy like a moisturizer and it's a bit thicker it is a bit thicker than the smoothing one. But I got it everywhere, cousins. You guys can't really see this, but it does change into like a yellow tint once you like massage it into your skin. Okay, so I've allowed the primer to like sit into my skin for a bit. My skin does feel a tad bit, a tad bit drier. Next, I'm gonna go in with the She Glam Sunday Picnic Setting Spritz. Comes in this packet, this is what it looks like. This is cute, like, hello. I'm not gonna lie, She Glam are legit putting effort with the packaging. Like, you wouldn't even think that this is a cheap product. Okay, so they claim this setting spritz to be a long lasting. Apparently, it's meant to lock in your makeup from sunrise to sunset. It's meant to also give you a dewy finish. So, I'm going to apply some more on. Mmm, and it smells like grapes. I really like the scent of this. It feels very light on the skin. It does spritz at you. So far, love the packaging. Looks so cute and love the smell of it as well okay so now for the foundation the reason why we're all here let's try it out so like i mentioned before this is the skin fluencer full coverage foundation balm this retails for six pounds 99 seven quid cousins like a foundation balm that is seven pounds some of the drugstore makeup isn't even this cheap oh come on she in they even give me like information about the foundation as well which is so cute similar to the liquid foundation or the foundation in general it comes in like a little suede bag this is so cute oh stop it package it 
Are you bloody kidding me? I don't know how in the hell She Glam has done this for this price because even the Kat Von D foundation balm, I wanna say that the packaging is plastic. That could be wrong, I can't remember. So I picked up the shade Sepia and Deep. Sepia is my shade in the other matte foundation. So I thought hopefully it'll be the same shade in this range as well. This foundation actually comes in 30 different shades. 30 shades cousins and it's seven pounds. Excuse me? She glam? That, that looks good. She's thick. She's looking dark. She's looking darker. But yo, the coverage on this is sickening. Whoa. The shade is a little bit off on me, but I can work with it. Let's open up the shade Deep. Deep looks a little bit muddy. Yeah, it was a good thing that went with CPR. I won't lie to you cousins, it feels really thick on the brush, but like the moment it like touches my skin, it doesn't feel thick. Hold on, let me just see the claims on this foundation. Okay, so this foundation claims to be long lasting. It's meant to give you a really high coverage, which I can testify to already. Claims not to have a greasy formula. It doesn't feel like I got a thick ass makeup on either. It actually feels like a normal foundation on the skin. Obviously you will feel like you have foundation on your skin, but it doesn't feel like overly like cakey. I like this. The shade does look a little bit off on me, but again, I can work with it. Now I'm gonna go in with the She Glam Concealer. This is in the shade Hazelnut. You guys know that I already love this concealer already. One of my favorite concealers. The coverage on it is stunning. I'm just gonna highlight my face with this. I'm just gonna lighten up my under eye using Honeycomb, the same She Glam Concealer. Like I said, She Glam does have some sculpting and bronzing products, but the ones that I've tried from the last time, I don't like it, it looked quite muddy on me, so I didn't pick up a new one. I'm just gonna quickly go in and just like bronze up my face. So now I'm gonna try out their Sunday Picnic Cheeky Color Jam. I feel like Sunday Picnic is like a collection that they've done, maybe for summer, I'm not too sure. This is a cream and blush. This is in the shade Scarlet Sunset. Comes in the same packaging as the Make of Setting Spritz. The way it looks like, super cute. It's like a really reddish color. Let me try my finger. She's pigmented. Oh my gosh, she feels so soft as well. Get this on my face right now. Get it on my face. Let's try this on the skin. Oh, she's pretty. This is a really stunning blush. I think I kind of went OTT with it, but it's fine. Oh, this is nice, man. This is stunning. I really like the blush. I have blended it out so it's like more subtle on my skin tone, but you guys saw like how pigmented this blush is and it's like so nice and soft and it feels very velvety on the skin as well i like this blush a lot okay so next i've got this she glam insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo this is where it looks like i picked up two shades actually this is the shade coca loca and smooth sand oh okay that is too bright for me. I feel like the whole purpose of this is meant to be like a two in one. So like the compact one is at the top and then if you just twist it, you have your baking setting powder. Funny enough, the face setting powder looks pretty much identical, but the setting powder, like the baking powder at the bottom, it's different shades. Huh, okay, so I'm gonna use Coco Loco. You guys know that I already love going in with a face powder first to lightly set my highlighted areas before I go in and bake. So this idea is like perfect for me, but if only it actually like works. Off the bat, the powder does feel quite soft. I think this powder was like two shade, maybe three shade darker. I think I will love it because the way it's set in is really nice. So this is the shade of the Coco Loco powder. It is very, very, very yellow. So I can't use that. I'm gonna try the shade Smooth Sand. So this is the shade of the Coco Loco. 
and this is shade of smooth sand um if i'm being honest neither of them is something i will go for but for the purpose of the video i'm gonna go with the shade smooth sand to like lightly set with okay so looking at it right now actually doesn't look bad not my ideal but it's not like the worst either i'm just gonna quickly go set the rest of my face and contour and i'll be right back okay so i just went in and applied a bit more of the smooth sand powder and honestly cousins i'm starting to fall in love with it now <laughs> it looks really smooth hold on cousins i have to mention this the packages of all the she glam products that i've used are spectacular you wouldn't think these are like five pounds four pounds for example this blush palette was six pounds 49 i didn't spend like five pound 13 on it because you guys know she glam comes through with their discount there's 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent every single broad day bloody day, day you will never pay the full price and we love that okay let me bring it back in because i feel like i just waffled for no reason there so this is the she glam floral flush blush palette this is what it looks like I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I'm just gonna tap this on my skin and let's see if it shows up. Wow, wow, wow. That's stunning. Oh my gosh, She Glam? Hello. I knew She Glam was good, but baby, I didn't know it was this good, okay? Honestly, cousins, I am just loving the way my skin is looking. It's just giving flawless vibes. I'm just gonna go finish off my makeup and I'll be right back to like tell you guys my thoughts on the products that we tried out in today's video. All right, cousins, so this is what the skin is looking like. I'm just gonna go back in with the She Glam Spritz just to like lock everything in place. Honestly, because it, it feels so light on the skin. All right, cousins, so what are we thinking? Are we impressed? Because your cousin is. I am honestly so impressed with the She Glam makeup. And this Skinfluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm is top tier. There's nothing bad I can say about this baby right here. Are we seeing what She Glam is doing on our skin? Because baby, my skin looks flawless. This is so full coverage. A little goes a long way. It is a legit dupe for the Kat Von D foundation balm. I was a little skeptical about the foundation shade earlier on, but honestly, as soon as I applied my concealer and set the rest of my face, it looks beautiful on the skin. Nothing that I used in today's video was a big no. Even the setting powder, you guys know I was scared to use this. It looks really good and I just did some flashback photography. My under eye is under iron, okay? Honestly, cousins, I feel like the primer worked well with the foundation. All the products just worked well together. This honestly has blown me with the packaging alone. It's stunning, it's very sleek. She Glam is really stepping on some brands next right now, okay? Absolutely love the cream blush. It feels so velvety on the skin. This rose, all this primer. I do like as well. I will be trying out the Pigment Perfecta primer in another video soon, so stay tuned for that. Honestly, She Glam has blown me away again, and I would definitely recommend you guys to try out this foundation, especially if you love the Kat Von D foundation balm. Try this because I feel like you will love it. I genuinely am happy with everything that I used in today's video. Let me know what you think down below of the products that I used. Do we try and out? Let me know down below. So this is pretty much it for today's video, cousins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. I really appreciate it. Join the family, be a cousin, okay? Thank you cousins so much for watching. I love you guys so much and inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Mwah.